I got some bags under my eyes. Heavy baggage here and just in my whole body. I carry a lot of baggage. Okay, so if you don't recognize me, hello, my name is Taylor Dean and this is me without makeup. Shocker. So I get this question a lot, which is please do a makeup tutorial. I would love to see it. I would love to see how you do your makeup, blah, blah, blah. Well, the thing is, is I'm not a makeup artist. I take care of animals for a living, I guess. That's what you would call it. I don't know the first thing about makeup. Honestly, I just look at other people's pictures online and then I try to copy it and I do it every day. And some days it looks okay and some days it looks like garbage. It, it looks really bad. It looks like a 12 year old put crayon on my face. I don't always know what I'm doing with makeup. I try my best. Fail a lot of the times and succeed like 2% of the time. I decided I have a second channel that I never use. So I will go through how I do my makeup on this channel and we will see if I can do it somewhat decent. Now, I don't know how people normally do these videos because I wanna look over here is my mirror and this is the camera. So I'll try to talk you through it, but I'm also gonna have to look over here to apply it and then look back. I can't just look at my camera screen and do it. I don't know how you guys do it. I don't have a fancy camera. I don't have any of that cool stuff or amazing lighting or anything. I'm using the nasty ass yellow lighting in my bathroom and we are going to try to do some makeup today. And hopefully I don't come out looking like like I normally do. I love how behind me all you can see is the toilet. It's just me and my friend here. The toilet, we're best friends, we do look very similar. I know you guys might get confused, but just remember, this one's me, that one's the toilet. So this is my bare face. Um, it's relatively clear, but I do have breakouts. This is my breakout area, it sucks. On the right side of my face, I get a lot of breakouts right there, but I just cover it up with makeup and I don't really take care of it. So if you want tips on how to get rid of acne, I wash my face sometimes and I drink water sometimes and that's what I do, so you're welcome. I don't eat out that much, so maybe that's Maybe that's the trick for my body is not eating out, but I'm not really I'm not really the person to go to for that stuff I just get lucky sometimes and my face is clear which there's nothing wrong with that acne's fine I'm just saying if you guys are asking me how to get rid of it. I don't know go to someone else Thank you. Let it be known that I don't really have a special routine I kind of just change things up every day and hope it looks okay But I'm gonna go with my most common look today, which isn't like any heavy eye makeup or anything like that I mean I do I'm gonna put the whole thing on. It's gonna be a full face, but it's not like super dark makeup. The first thing I use is the Smashbox. I do a photo finish. It's like a face primer, and that's what I use for my face. I just put a good little amount on. Ooh, that's beautiful. And then I rub it all over. Shazam. Wada bing, wada boom. And I'm done. That's my look for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe below if you like this makeup look. Just kidding. The first thing I always do is my eyebrows. So we're gonna start with my eyebrows. Make sure that toilet's in view so you can look at it. Just kidding. I'm the toilet, let me get in the middle. So for my eyebrows, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium brown. It's the dip brow pomade. I just, I put a little bit on this little pencil. Do a little, little dab dab. Just like Jake Paul, we do a little dab. And make sure you're dabbing on the natives. And um, now we put it on the eyebrow. I'm done. I don't know what I'm doing. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the absolute hardest thing for me to do in my videos is get my eyebrows even. I can never do it. I can never get this eyebrow to look like this. <laughs> I can never get this eyebrow to look like this eyebrow. They always look different and I hate it, but I don't know what to do, so I'm sorry. I see the comments on every video. I see everyone be like, your eyebrows aren't even related. And I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. I, I didn't tell my eyebrows to do that. You know how to change it? Please come to my house and change it. I will let you. I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay, on to the next one. Ew, the inside of my, the middle of my forehead is so dry. I need to increase my humidity. I hate myself. That's as good as it's gonna get, okay? Let's move on to the next thing. Oh yeah, real quick. Um, where is it? The Anastasia, like, eyebrow... Uh, what do you call it? Clear brow gel. I always put over my eyebrows when I'm done. Makes them stay on a lot better. 
I don't want my eyebrows falling off. Okay, on to the next thing. Okay, so here are my really weird eyebrows. The next thing we're going to do is my eyeshadow. So I do kind of switch up my eyeshadow, but my most commonly, the one that I, my most go-to look is from the Modern Renaissance palette. Please ignore how dirty it is. I'm just disgusting. But the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the first thing I do is use the Tempera, 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 Tempera. I use this one. And I just do the whole base with that. Now please don't mock my blending techniques. I don't know how to blend. I don't know how many times I can say this like to get this through y'all's head, but I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't know what, what I'm doing. If you cringe at my blending technique, please just know that I understand. Put this on my eye. Bam! Before, after. Although Nemo is on the ground playing with some plastic, as you can hear. Nemo, what are you doing? You're having a lot of fun with that little crinkly toy, huh? Oh, really? You walk away now? You've been playing with it this whole time. And now you walk away that I, okay, whatever. Oh, wow. Okay, now we're done with that. Now onto the next layer. The next one I do is normally the raw sienna or the antique bronze. It just really depends on the day. I just pick a random one and go with it. Today, I'm gonna do raw sienna. Now this one kind of goes above the crease area. I don't really know what it's called, but it goes here. Wonder how annoying Nemo's crinkly noise is gonna be in the background. I'm playing with that toy. There. Now I have the brown in the crease. So then we go on to the next part. Normally I would just go straight to mascara, but recently I have started using eyeliner and fake eyelashes. Not very long though. It's only been like a few months of doing this, maybe like two months, three months. I don't know. I time is confusing to me. I haven't been doing it too long. That's the point I'm trying to make. So I don't know how the hell to do eyeliner. I never did eyeliner growing up ever, ever. Like I never messed with it. So now that just recently, like a few months ago, I started doing it. I have no clue how the hell to do it. So I'm not good at it at all. Like as if I'm already not good enough at makeup, I'm even worse at eyeliner. So we'll see how this goes. So I use the Tarte I don't know what this is called, but this is the Tarte, and I use the liquid eyeliner side of it. That's one eye, if you can see it. Whew. I tried to do it. This is my really weird attempt at eyeliner. It's never good. I tried, so whatever. Something I recently started doing also is wearing fake eyelashes. I used to not because I didn't want to ruin my eyelashes, but then I just decided, you know what, who cares? Never tried them before, don't know what they're gonna look like. Or I could do House of Lashes, but those, I don't know. I'm gonna go with these. They're okay, I'll use these, I guess. No, I dropped them. Ugh, my eyebrows look gross today, I don't like them. And that is my eye makeup. Now I'm moving on to my face and then my lips and then we can be done. This video is taking a minute. Okay, so I've primed my face but I haven't done anything else to it yet. So now we are going to add the first base of foundation. I like to use Makeup Forever. I use it in Y225, which might be too dark for me, but oh well. Then I got my beauty blender. And then again, we just dab, just like Jake Paul taught us. Yeah. Alright, so this is the side of my face with foundation, and this is the side of my face without it, so that's the difference. Okay, foundation is on. Now we're going to move on to contouring, which is something that I absolutely love to do. One of my favorite things to do to my face because it makes my face look not like my face. For contouring, I use Anastasia Beverly I use Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Fawn. Ta-da! I am contoured. Beautiful. I use this Kat Von D blush brush. Bleh. I use this Kat Von D brush to blend this stuff in. So I just go over it until it's nice and blended. 
Then I run back over all of it with my beauty blender just to make sure everything's blended pretty well together. I don't want it to be too noticeably like popping from my foundation. I do want it to kind of look mixed in a little bit. So I run it over just a little bit. Then for my nose, I use a smaller little brush to blend in the contour. So I'm gonna just do that now. And then there we go. Next, we go on to highlighting. Some people highlight very subtly while some people highlight an extreme amount. I kind of go in between. I have a bunch of different glow kits and kind of just depending on the day and what I'm wearing, I choose a different kind of highlight to use. Today I'm gonna be using this middle one because the first one fell out. So this one looks like it says it's called white sand. Can't really tell because it's really old and covered in highlighter everywhere because I'm a mess. And then a little bit on the bridge. And then I use some underneath the eyebrow. And then I use some on my cheekbone. Okay, so the last thing I do to kind of make everything look kind of together is on a lot of areas of my face, I use powder. Now I don't use it on every single part of my face, but I do use it on my more oily spots of my face. So I just get some powder and I put it up here and down here. And that's it for my face makeup. Now all we have left is my lipstick. Now my absolute number one most go-to lipstick is Stripped by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Today though, I'm gonna do a little bit of a darker look. It's barely any different, but just a slightly bit darker. And it's Crush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my look and that's how I do it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my makeup. Hopefully I didn't fail. I don't think I failed as bad as I do sometimes. Don't think I did perfect. I don't absolutely adore my eyebrows. There's a few things I would have loved to be able to do better, but I didn't completely fail. So I guess that's better than nothing. So if you hear a lot of loud booming in the background, it is the fireworks. I live right next to a theme park and every single day at 9, 15 PM, I have the delight of hearing fireworks for 30 minutes straight. This is what I get to hear every night. The best. I love it. So peaceful. Oh, so peaceful. It was really cute the first three days, and now I want earplugs. It's okay. It's all right, though. I'm not complaining. It's fine. I am complaining, but you know. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is definitely different than most of my content, but this is my vlog channel. I am looking to make this a little bit different maybe than my other videos. Just trying to incorporate some different sides of my life into this since a lot of you guys only know me for what I do when I talk about animals and you don't know anything else really about me. So I'm trying to make this channel a way to get to know my personality away from my pets. And this is my personality when I'm doing my makeup, AKA hating myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you do, please make sure to subscribe. I really am just starting this channel. I posted like two other videos and it was a year ago. So I really am just starting on this channel, but I'm really hoping to take it somewhere eventually. That would be really cool. So if you'd like to see more content like this, that's different, just leave a like and a subscribe. Thank you very much. I love you guys so much. And if there's any vlogs or alternative content that you'd like to see other than my animals from me, leave it in my comments. I think I just spit, but I don't know. Anyway, yes, thank you guys so much. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was a bad accent.